Bonjour et bienvenue à l'heure du compte bilingue de la Bibliothèque Berry. Mon nom c'est Tannis. Aujourd'hui, j'en veux lire des histoires qui parlent de l'eau. Donc, on va commencer avec le livre Gros ours et petite puce de Nick Bland aux éditions Scholastic. Le texte a été traduit en français par Hélène Rio. On va commencer. Gros ours est ici. Et petite puce est là, mais elle est si petite qu'on ne la voit pas. Petite puce s'apprête à piquer. Non pas qu'elle soit mal élevée, c'est sa façon à elle de saluer. À pique en haut, à pique en bas. Petite puce pique ici et là, dessus. Dessous, elle pique partout. La tête, le genou, le dos, le cou, partout, partout. Oh, plouf! Gros ours est ici, petite puce est là, flottant, flottant sur l'océan. Roseau se demande maintenant si Petite Puce est encore là. Une piqûre sur le bras. Petite Puce dit « Coucou, c'est moi! » Roseau se secoue, projetant Petite Puce dans l'océan. Roseau, toute seule, est effrayée. Depuis que Petite Puce s'en est allée. Oh, oh. Voici l'oiseau. Les gros os s'assit sur l'eau. Petite puce, elle est très, 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 très loin. Elle va savoir bientôt qu'un oiseau fait peur quand il a faim. Gros os ne coûte que son courage. Pour sauver Petite puce, il part à la nage. Petite puce est rassurée. Elle lui dit, je ne vais pas te piquer. Petite puce est ici et gros ours aussi. Ils sont maintenant amis pour la vie. So the second story that I'm going to read to you today, which is also about water, is a book that was uh, written by Henrietta Blanchford and Rosalind Beardshaw. It's called Splash, and I would like to thank uh, Hatchet Children's Group, as well as uh, Hotter Children's Book for allowing me to read it, and also thank you, Scholastic. Sand in my ears, sand in my hair, warm sand, wet sand, sand everywhere. Sand in my belly button, tickling my skin. When I want to wash it off, I'll jump right in. Jump into the water, the icy spicy water, shivery shaky water from the deep blue sea. Deep underwater, what can I see? A wiggly squiggly thingamajig as tiny as a flea. Hidey glidey scuttle mops. One, two, three. And a little pink crab who's hiding from me. Now jump into the water, the icy spicy water, shivery shakery water from the deep blue sea. Take a quick dip off a big black rock. Climb right up to the scaredy cat top. my seaweed tail, comb my seaweed hair. Then slide back down as fast as I dare. And jump into the water, the icy spicy water, shivery shaky water from the deep blue sea.
And instead of making a craft, I thought today we could do a little science experiment with water. It's called float or sink. Um, and you've perhaps already played it in your bathtub. So um, before we start, I, I found a few objects in my house that we're gonna play with. But before we start, I thought maybe we talk about some of the objects you shouldn't put in the bathtub. So there's a few objects like, for example, your parents' telephone or something that has batteries in it, or maybe something that's even made out of paper, for example, like a book. These are not good objects to play this game with because um, you can wreck them or you can, they can be disintegrated. So it's always best to ask your parents uh, or an adult uh, if you can put those in, in the bathtub first. Alors, on va commencer. Donc, pour jouer à ce jeu, couler ou flotter, je veux que on va participer, ou je, je te demande de, de participer avec moi. Donc, je vais te montrer un objet, puis je veux que tu me dises uh, si tu penses que l'objet va flotter ou couler. Donc, on va commencer avec ça. C'est quoi ça? C'est comme un, c'est un coquillage. Est-ce que tu penses que ça va flotter ou couler? Do you think that's going to float or sink? I think it might float. We're going to see. It comes from the ocean, so maybe it's going to float. Let's see. That definitely sunk. So you might have some of these at home. Lego, Duplo. Ah, it looks like it's going to float. If I, if I give it a push, it didn't come back up. It sunk. Ça coulait au fond. I also have a little Lego person. Let's see. Ah, she's floating, which is funny because the Lego sunk, but the Lego person floated. I have a joué ici. C'est un petit chèvre. Ah, lui aussi, elle a flotté. J'ai aussi une cuillère à soupe. That definitely sunk. What else do we have here? Sunk. A peso. Ah. I think that's floating. I think it's floating. Oh. And some cork. Definitely that, that floated. So, I'm really glad that you joined me for story time. And uh, I hope to see you next week, where I think I'm probably going to be telling stories about monsters. Okay, take care, and I'll see you next Wednesday morning. Bye.